Hi guys, so how are you doing? How are you feeling? Well, I personally am feeling much better. Uh, all of the things physically that have caused me problems for years, uh, they're starting to fall into place and I'm figuring out what's wrong and how to fix them or alleviate them. That's a part of this. Whenever you're at a certain vibration, there's kind of a screen across things so that you can't see the answers. And when you raise those vibrations, it gets folded into higher vibrations that give you more access to more vibrations that show you more of the picture, more answers, so to speak. Hope that makes sense. So, yeah, that physically is happening for me. I hope it's happening for you guys. So it gives me hope that there could be some relief. Uh, that is a way of creation, if you can't do the just heal yourself thing, which some people can do, most of them are humans that can do that. But if you ask for relief from your situation, there can be many ways that that relief can come. So don't rule out the medical field, holistic field, any of the fields, acupuncture, hypnosis, all of them, because they can come from any of those ways. Okay, so for the last year, before this virus hit, um, I did just about everything I could but jump up and down and ask you guys to be happier and happier, to reduce your bills, to become more self-sufficient, to, number one, get out of the cities, and told you that a lot of these systems have to be rebooted. They have to be changed. Now, without actually, and I said, I think the most I ever said was soon. Because, uh, well, you, the problem with saying too much is it tends to cause panic. So, I tried to give you guys as much, as many hints as I could give you without creating uh, panic. Uh, I hope that you guys use that and that you f are faring a little bit better in this transformation process. Now, way back in 2008, there was a significant issue in the world that kind of led up to 2012. Well, this is the same one kind of thing with this one. It's not the end. It's more the beginning of a lot of changes. So... Hopefully, in this process, that you will choose the happier and happier route rather than the fear route, because certainly both are available. If you look at this, that this is an option for a lot of different changes and, and a lot of options that you didn't have before, which is true, very, very true, then you will lead towards an increase in creation creativity, of being able to create things a lot easier and better, quicker. Um, if you choose the route of fear, then unfortunately, well, fear breeds fear. Happier breeds happier. Okay? So, that's kind of how that goes. And if you look at it as a option, of new options that are available... Uh, there's lots available, especially in the United States. The United States is a really young country, and it's been built on innovation, in coming up with different ways of doing things. And we pretty much left Europe behind and said, we don't like the way things are done, we want to do it differently. So it's kind of a mindset here already. So instead of it being, oh, we can't do this anymore, we can't have this anymore... It is still kind of in the DNA makeup of America that we'll come up with a better way of doing things or another way of doing things. These options are really seriously available here. Now, in other parts of the world that are older countries, they're really, really stuck in the way things have been, and that will make it much more of a struggle for them to come up with new ways of doing things, that they were more likely to get caught in this doom and gloom of we can't do it the way it's always been done, and now what are we going to do? How can we get around this? So those of you that are in the United States, take advantage of this. This is just 
a way of setting things up to do things a different way. So come up with a different way. It, it's endless possibilities right now because of what's happened and what is happening. So there's all these options that you can come up with things that need to be done a different way. So do you come up with a different way of doing things to fill in that void? Or do you panic and say, well, it's not, we can't do it this way, so what do we do? Now, you could fill that hole and redo things anywhere around the world. Don't get me wrong, you can do it around the world. It's just in the United States, that's already our mentality. That's the norm. So, this is your opportunity to come up with something new. Lots of openings here at this point. Okay? Alright, so that's it for this one. I hope you guys are feeling as good as I am. And uh, looking forward to the future, right? <laughs> Love you guys so much. Huge hugs. See you later.